All right guys, CRISPR, this changes everything. So check it out. Just the other day, the first FDA approval for to use CRISPR for sickle cell disease. If you don't know what CRISPR is, basically a gene sequencing tool that can modify your genes. So, you know, if you have the sickle cell trait, with precision, it could cut out the sickle cell gene and replace it with a normal gene. So this can treat all sorts of things that can treat cancer, rare blood disease, AIDS, COVID, Huntington's disease, blindness, all this stuff. Great, great, great. So there's a lot of exciting good stuff that comes from this, but the next logical question is how far along is this actually when you look at what maybe the military is doing or the things that we haven't heard about? Because according to the NIH, this has only been used on 200 people, but I think you're sadly mistaken if you believe that number. I think that it's very possible there's underground military bases that are potentially creating super soldiers with this stuff. So think about it. If you could modify your genes when you're in the prenatal phase, you could literally make a superhuman. And there's been a lot of articles coming out about this the last year. It's very quiet, but the They've been there. So if it can be done, the military is obviously going to do it. Now this all goes into this whole fourth industrial revolution thing that our friend Klaus Schwab wrote a book about. Guys, we're heading into a crazy, crazy, crazy phase where we're gonna start seeing predictive medicine, gene sequencing. You're gonna start to be asked by your doctor, hey, do you want your baby to have blue eyes or brown eyes, blonde hair or brown hair? How tall do you want them to be? Yada, yada, yada. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that's right or wrong, good or bad, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there are gonna say that, oh, it's terrible, unethical. Not really taking a stance on it. I'm just here to be the messenger saying that we officially crossed a significant turning point that the FDA approved this technology to use to treat sickle cell disease. That's a huge milestone and I'm sure that means that many more things are to come where they're going to allow CRISPR to be used to modify your genes, to eliminate illnesses, and to optimize prenatal babies. Let me know what you think. Is this ethical? Is this a good thing? Is this scary? Is this exciting? Look forward to hearing your thoughts. And something you need to know, in 2036, I'm going to be your president. God bless.